This Allied soldier contracted the infectious di tropical disease dengue fever on New Guinea during World War II. We cannot see the headaches, the burning fever, or the breakbone pains that characterize this disease. Is the absence of graphic symptoms the reason behind dengue's low prominence? I study the history of dengue fever in Asia, providing a historical context for an ongoing pandemic. In 2010 alone, dengue infected some 390 million people, killing thousands. As the heat map shows, Southeast Asia is a disease hot zone. Still, dengue is out of the public eye. It is on the map, but off the radar. My thesis asks why. Disease histories tend to focus on dramatic outbreaks of cholera or malaria or SARS. In contrast, I study what we might think of as a background disease. From thousands of archival documents, I am writing the very first history of dengue in Asia. I trace how scientists here in Asia constructed a modern disease identity. Step by step, they identified dengue's symptoms, its viral nature, the mosquitoes that carry it, and its potential to develop into a lethal hemorrhagic fever. This history argues against persistent notions that modern medicine developed only in the West and serves to reflect on dengue's low prominence. Today, the World Health Organization considers dengue a neglected tropical disease. The Red Cross labels it a silent disaster. In the historical records, dengue is equally invisible. Take this map of dengue in India of 1928. It's mostly blank, but this was due to an absence of official reporting, not an absence of the disease itself. Physicians and officials were likely to overlook dengue, or worse, confuse it with other diseases. My thesis asks why some diseases were prioritized over others, shortlisting them for research, control, and eradication. This sketch suggests one instance where dengue did gain traction, when infecting uh, European colonials in Hong Kong or American soldiers in the Philippines, rather than uh, local Asian populations. But such visibility was always short-lived and never translated into sustained control efforts. So, my thesis, no. while providing a history to an ongoing health crisis, my thesis provides insight into how even diseases have hierarchies. Thank you. <laughs>